right now, at this very moment, Israel operates the most combat-ready stealth fighters on the planet, 90% mission-ready. Compare that to America's F-35 fleet, just 51%. Half of America's most advanced jets sit grounded, while Israeli pilots are already flying missions deep into enemy territory. How is this possible? The country that invented the F-35 is being outpaced by one of its closest allies. 35 Israeli jets are combat ready. America? Less than half their fleet can even fly. This isn't just about numbers. This is about a decision Israel made years ago that changed everything. The F-35 Lightning II, $2 trillion, the most expensive weapons program in history. Built by America, flown by America, and yet, Israel's version is dominating. While Lockheed Martin delivers American jets eight months late, Israel is already upgrading theirs. While Pentagon officials scramble to fix software problems, Israeli pilots are penetrating the most dangerous airspace in the world. In October of last year, Israeli F-35s flew over a thousand kilometers into Iran, struck 20 military targets, and returned home without a scratch. American F-35s? still waiting for upgrades that were supposed to arrive three years ago. This isn't fiction. This is happening right now. And the reasons why will shock you. Because Israel didn't just buy American jets and fly them. They completely rewired them. They rebuilt the system. They told the Pentagon, thanks, but we'll take it from here. And that decision, that one choice, created the most lethal stealth fighters ever deployed in combat. If you think America should learn from Israel's success, type yes in the comments below. Let's see how many of you agree. But before we get to that decision, you need to see the actual numbers. Because when you compare Israel's readiness rates to America's, the gap is so massive it seems impossible. And yet it's real, it's documented, and it's getting worse every single month. Stay with me, because what I'm about to show you will change how you see American military readiness forever. Let's talk numbers, real numbers, not promises, not projections, facts. Fiscal year 2024, the United States Air Force reported a mission-capable rate of 51.5% for their F-35A fleet. That means on any given day, half of America's stealth fighters cannot perform their mission. In 2021, that number was 69%. It's getting worse, not better. Now look at Israel. 35 operational jets out of 39 total. That's 90% mission ready. During wartime, while under constant threat, while flying more combat missions than any other F-35 operator in history, over 15,000 operational flight hours logged, more combat experience than every other F-35 nation combined. The Israeli Air Force isn't just maintaining their jets better, they're upgrading them faster, installing new weapons, integrating new systems, testing new capabilities, all while America's fleet sits in maintenance hangars waiting for parts that never arrive. Last year, Lockheed Martin delivered 110 F-35s to the United States military. Every single one arrived late. Average delay? 238 days. That's almost eight months. Back in 2021, only 22 jets were late, with delays averaging just 16 days. The problem isn't improving, it's accelerating. But here's what makes this truly stunning, and you need to understand this to see why Israel's approach changes everything. Israel is receiving the same upgrades America ordered, the same technology, the same systems. So why are Israeli jets already flying with them while American jets sit grounded? The answer goes back to a single meeting, a single decision. And when you hear what happened in that room, everything will make sense. Back in 2016, Israeli Air Force commanders sat in a room with Pentagon officials. On the table set the future of F-35 logistics, the Autonomic Logistics Information System, ALIS for short. This massive computer system was designed to manage every F-35 on Earth, track maintenance, order parts, schedule repairs, one system, one network, every jet connected. Lockheed Martin called it revolutionary. The Pentagon called it essential. Israel called it a problem. An Israeli Air Force officer said it plainly. And this quote tells you everything about why their jets fly while ours sit grounded. 
The automated system Lockheed Martin built will be efficient and cost-effective, but it was built for countries that don't have missiles falling on them. Think about that statement. Really think about it. Israel faces threats American bases haven't seen in decades. Hezbollah rockets, Iranian drones, Hamas attacks, missiles launched from three different countries at once. In that environment, you cannot wait for a computer in Texas to tell you which jet needs maintenance. You cannot rely on a supply chain that takes weeks to deliver parts. You need answers now. You need parts now. You need jets flying now. So Israel negotiated something no other nation has, complete independence, full authority to modify their jets, total control over maintenance, permission to install their own software, their own weapons, their own electronic warfare systems, the only F-35 operator on Earth with this level of freedom. The cost? Higher. The complexity? Enormous. The result? Unmatched readiness. Israel built maintenance facilities at Nevatim Air Base. They trained their own technicians. They established direct relationships with parts suppliers. They even received their own test aircraft, the only F-35 test bed ever delivered to a foreign military. This jet allows Israel to test modifications without pulling combat aircraft out of service. When Israeli jets need maintenance, they stay in Israel. When they need upgrades, Israel installs them. When they need new weapons, Israeli engineers integrate them. No waiting, no bureaucracy, no dependency on a system designed for peacetime operations. And while the Pentagon struggles with a troubled logistics network, Israel's jets keep flying. But what's actually happening with America's upgrades? What's causing these eight-month delays? Why are our jets sitting in storage instead of defending our nation? The answer is worse than you think. And it explains why our finest pilots are sitting on the ground instead of ruling the skies. This is where the story gets really concerning. Now let's talk about what's happening in America, because this isn't just about Israel succeeding. It's about America struggling with problems that shouldn't exist. Technology Refresh 3, the backbone of the entire F-35 modernization program. Better computers, more memory, enhanced displays, critical for future upgrades. Supposed to be delivered in 2021, still not finished, three years late. The Pentagon stopped accepting new F-35s for an entire year because TR-3 wasn't ready. From July 2023 to July 2024, Jets rolled off the production line and sat in storage. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of aircraft just sitting there. Lockheed Martin kept building them. The military couldn't fly them. When deliveries finally resumed in July of last year, the jets came with what officials called a truncated version of the software. Translation, incomplete. These jets can train. They cannot fight. Full combat capability? Not until this year. Maybe. Then there's Block 4, the massive upgrade package that promises revolutionary capabilities, better sensors, more weapons, advanced electronic warfare, improved targeting. Scheduled for completion in 2026, new estimate 2031, five years late, $6 billion over budget. Supply chain failures make everything worse. Last February, Lockheed Martin had 52 jets stuck on the production line. Why? Missing parts. 4,000 part shortages that month. Double the historic average. Some parts are on back order for months. Engines? Pratt & Whitney didn't deliver a single F-35 engine on time in 2023 or 2024. Not one. The Government Accountability Office released a report. Devastating findings. Over 10,000 F-35 parts waiting for repairs due to depot capacity issues. Full depot capacity not expected until after 2030. Every delay compounds the next delay. Part shortages cause production delays. Production delays cause retrofit delays. Retrofit delays cause operational delays. Meanwhile, contractors keep getting paid. Lockheed Martin earned hundreds of millions of dollars in incentive fees despite late deliveries. The GAO called it rewarding contractors for underperformance. Congress is furious. 
Air Force leadership declared a war on readiness, and the problem keeps getting worse. This isn't criticism of American engineers or technicians. These are brilliant people working impossible problems. The issue is systematic, bureaucratic, structural. A logistic system designed for efficiency that breaks down under pressure. But here's what really matters, and this is where Israel's decision proves its worth. While American jets wait for systems that don't work and parts that don't arrive, Israeli F-35s are doing something no other stealth fighter has ever done. They're fighting. They're winning. And they're proving what these jets can actually do when nothing holds them year. back. Operation what happened Days over Iran last October? Israeli will blow F-35s your mind. launched the largest this is the air mission operation that changed against Iran everything since the Iran-Iraq war. Over 100 aircraft. F-35s leading. F-15s following. Tankers supporting. A 2,000-kilometer round trip into the most heavily defended airspace in the Middle East. The mission? Strike 20 military targets across Iran, Iraq, and Syria. Air defense batteries. Missile production facilities. Drone factories. Nuclear research sites. All protected by Russian S-300 systems, advanced radars, sophisticated missiles. Everything designed to detect and destroy stealth aircraft. Israeli F-35s penetrated undetected, used their electronic warfare systems, the blind Iranian radars, shared targeting data with other Israeli jets in real time, struck their targets, flew home, zero losses. Mission success. Satellite imagery confirmed the results. Multiple S-300 engagement radars destroyed. Production facilities neutralized. Iranian air defenses severely degraded. The Israeli Air Force demonstrated what fifth-generation stealth fighters can accomplish when properly maintained and upgraded. This wasn't the first time. Since 2021, Israeli F-35s have intercepted Iranian drones, shot down cruise missiles in flight, conducted strikes in Syria, attacked Hamas positions in Gaza, flew long-range missions to Yemen, 1,700 kilometers from Israel, every mission successful, every jet returned home. The combat record speaks for itself. Over 15,000 operational flight hours, strikes in multiple countries, operations against sophisticated threats, perfect safety record. No losses, no failures. Consistent performance under the most demanding conditions imaginable. American military observers are paying attention. The F-35 program executive officer testified before Congress about Israeli performance, called it absolutely outstanding. High mission capable rates, high full mission capable rates, rapid turnaround times. The Pentagon is studying Israeli maintenance procedures, learning from their operational tempo, examining how they achieve such high readiness rates while fighting an actual war. These American pilots and commanders deserve jets that work as well as Israel's. They deserve systems that don't fail. They deserve the same freedom to adapt and overcome that Israel negotiated years ago. And understanding exactly why Israel's jets outperform ours reveals what needs to change right now. This is the lesson America needs to learn before it's too late. So what's the core difference between Israel and America? One word. Priority. Israel prioritized operational independence over cost savings. They invested billions in domestic maintenance capabilities, built their own facilities, trained their own experts, created their own supply chains. The upfront cost was enormous. The long-term benefit is unmatched readiness. America prioritized efficiency and cost reduction, centralized logistics, one system managing thousands of jets across dozens of countries. In peacetime, this works. In war, it breaks down. Dependencies become vulnerabilities. Efficiency becomes fragility. Israel also prioritized rapid adaptation. Their F-35s carry Israeli weapons, Spice precision bombs, Python 5 missiles, Delilah cruise missiles. They installed Israeli electronic warfare systems designed for Middle Eastern threats, added conformal fuel tanks for extended range, every modification tailored for their unique needs. The numbers don't lie. 90% versus 51% readiness. Minimal delays versus 8-month delays. 15,000 combat hours versus limited operational experience. Israel's F-35s are upgrading faster because Israel controls the upgrade process. They don't wait for permission. They make decisions. They take action. They get results. American forces have the talent, the technology, 
the resources. What they need is the authority and flexibility to match Israel's approach. Less bureaucracy, more autonomy, faster decisions. The capability exists. The system just needs to enable it. Israel showed what's possible when operational necessity drives every decision. Their F-35s aren't just upgraded faster, they're battle-tested, combat-proven, ready for any mission. That's the standard our forces deserve. If this opened your eyes to how military readiness actually works, hit that like button and subscribe for more defense insights you won't find anywhere else. The facts matter. The truth matters. And now, you know the truth.